Are you ready for the future of money? Central bank digital currency is the latest revolution in the financial sector, and it's here to stay. This video will discuss the potential benefits and drawbacks of CBDC, how it works, and what it could mean for the world economy. So, buckle up and let's explore the world of CBDC. Hello! Welcome to our channel. Before I start, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet. Central Bank Digital Currency Digital currency is just money that is stored electronically instead of in paper form. The central bank digital currencies are digital versions of a country's physical currency, like a digital dollar, euro, pound, or yuan. The Bank of England in the UK says that 10 pounds of a UK digital currency would always be worth the same as a 10 pounds note. Central banks are national financial authorities that control a country's currency, money supply, and monetary policy. For example, they set interest rates, which change how much it costs to borrow money. Is central bank digital currency safe? Central bank money is the risk-free form of money guaranteed by the state, according to the European Central Bank, which plans to implement a digital euro across its 27 member states by the middle of the decade. The Bank of England claims that central bank digital currencies are less volatile than privately produced cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ether, and XRP because they are tethered to a country's national currency. The Federal Reserve, America's central bank, claims a CBDC would be the safest digital asset available to the general public, with no associated credit or liquidity risk if it were introduced. How do central bank digital currencies function? The Bank of England claims that as fewer people carry cash around, more opportunities exist for them to utilize a CBDC to make digital purchases. According to the Central Bank Digital Currency Policymaker Toolkit published by the World Economic Forum, digital currencies can be stored in either an account with the central bank or as electronic tokens. Mobile phones, prepaid credit cards, and other electronic wallets could all be used to store digital tokens. CBDC could be used by businesses and other financial institutions, such as traditional banks. The ECB believes that digital currency will not replace traditional cash, but instead work in tandem with it. Central Bank Digital Currencies, Boon or Bane to Society? The European Central Bank says that the digital euro would make everyday financial transactions quick, easy, and safe. It would make it easier for more people to use financial services by giving them more ways to pay. According to World Bank statistics, almost 1.7 billion adults worldwide do not have a bank account. This stands as a hurdle in the way of alleviating poverty. According to the Atlantic Council, an American think tank, central bank digital currencies could help more people get access to money by making it easier and safer. This could also improve the stability of the financial system. The IMF says that a CBDC could be a backup source of funds in case of a natural disaster or the failure of a payments provider. One such reason is the need to lessen financial crime. Cash's anonymity aids criminal activity because it is difficult to track, but the Atlantic Council says that digital currencies issued by central banks can make financial transactions more open. Do any national governments plan to issue their own digital currency? The Central Bank Digital Currency Tracker, an online atlas made by the Atlantic Council, says that more than 100 countries are looking into CBDCs, Nigeria in Africa and Jamaica in the Caribbean are two of the 10 countries that have created their own digital currency. The sand dollar was introduced in the Bahamas, a country in the West Indies, in October 2020. It was the first digital currency issued by a central bank for a whole country. In 2023, China plans to introduce CBDC. Japan, India, Russia, and South Korea are among the 19 member nations of the group of 20 that are investigating the use of central bank digital currencies. CBDCs are being studied in the United States and the United Kingdom, but neither country has committed to implementing them at this time. Reuters says that in September 2022, the central banks of Sweden, Norway, and Israel started working with the Bank for International Settlements on a project to study the use of central bank digital currencies in international retail and remittance transactions. In what ways have CBDCs been successful? Deloitte says that introducing the sand dollar in the Bahamas has made it easier to do business in an otherwise huge archipelago. 
the Atlantic Council CBDC tracker tool estimates that Jamaica, which started giving out its JamDEX digital currency earlier this year, will save about $7 million a year on the cost of replacing, storing, and handling cash. Finally, what difficulties do central bank digital currencies face? When Ecuador's digital currency was taken away in 2017, three years after it started, the main reason given was that people didn't trust the central bank. Threats from cyberspace are one obstacle faced by central banks investigating digital currencies. The World Economic Forum says that the risks of digital currency could have more catastrophic effects than cash. The forum also points out how hard it is to give more people access to digital currencies made by national central banks in a way that helps financial inclusion instead of hurting it. For countries to start their own digital currencies, they must also have the right technology and regulatory frameworks in place. What do you think about the future of digital currency? Please let us know in the comment section. Until the next video, goodbye and take care.